Are you feeling a little weak in the knees? Are you feeling like no one listens to you? Are you feeling disempowered, powerless, and unable to change anything in your world? Then I think we might have some issues with your solar plexus chakra. Hi there, my name is Dr. Lisa, and this is 88 Days to Manifest Your Best Life or Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days, and we are now on day 10. Um, now, if you know anything about numerology, 10 is like the ending of a cycle right before the beginning of a cycle, which would be the actually the number zero. So um, we are on day 10. It is all going to be about your solar plexus chakra. And what is that solar plexus chakra? Well, that's your third chakra, right? We've talked about the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine. We talked about the sacral chakra, which is right in your reproductive of organ area and your solar plexus chakra that's kind of like mm, right under your diaphragm that's like your gut that's your gut feeling that's your gut emotions that's where you feel fight or flight that's you know when you're feeling something in the pit of your stomach that's that solar plexus chakra at work now the solar plexus chakra is really responsible i want you to think of it like your own personal sun so you know how it feels like when the sun's not shining and and you know there's just been cloudy days for days upon days upon days upon days and, you know sometimes our moods can get bad and we just feel like oh my god why do i even feel like being bothered right you don't really have any like desire to do a whole lot of different things. That's what happens when that solar plexus chakra is out of alignment and not healed and not operating, as I like to say, on all eight cylinders, okay? So that solar plexus chakra is, um, it governs our ability to be confident, to be assertive, to make decisions, like trust our inner wisdom, okay? Um, it's the key, it really is the key area to unlocking our sense of personal power and building a strong sense of self. So if you are feeling powerless or if people have taken your power from you, so that could be over the years, like, growing up um, in your, your, your household, you know, you weren't really allowed to exercise your own sense of power. That could have been due to a, a narcissistic parent, or it could have been due to um, just, you know, a lot of different things that were going on, right? Or old school parents that were just like, you know, children are to be seen, not to be heard. You don't question anything. You don't. And while I'm saying, you know, children shouldn't be disrespectful. I am saying that there is still a way to cultivate that it's really activating our solar plexus chakra. If you're feeling out of control in your life, that's another area that the solar plexus helps to govern. Now, why is this even important when we're talking about manifesting our best lives over 88 days? Because the, the reason why we're going through the chakra system, right, is because if our chakras are out of alignment and they're not healed, or at least healed to a great degree, right? We've not like kind of gotten rid of a lot of the root issues and major issues that are going on. It's going to be very difficult for us to operate at full capacity in this recreation of the physical world because in the energetic world, we're still fractured. And the solar plexus, the sacral and the root chakras are probably the three most important chakras for manifestation because in the solar plexus, the <coughs> sacral, and the root chakra, you have the sun, you have your ground, and then you have the roots from which the nutrients and the stability, <coughs> nutrients and stability upon which your plant can grow in the sacral chakra. And then your solar plexus chakra is providing the necessary sun and energy and activation um, and implementation for all of those manifestations. So in other words, all of your great ideas and imaginations and visualizations are never going to take root in the earth realm, the 3D realm, until these three chakras are handled, until those three are, 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 are in, a gr in a good place. We're not going to be perfect, but we need to be in a good place. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to just leave you here with an inability to unblock that solar plexus chakra. What we, what we do, the importance of having the sun shining on your life is, and, and in your own being, is that you are, you then understand your own divinity, that you are you recognize that you are the God, small g of your world. And, and you stop placing and giving away your power. 
Now, I know that's probably going to be a little hurtful for some people, but I want you to hear me out. Even in Abrahamic religions, there's been a misconstruing of what was originally said in the texts. This was never about handing over your power, handing over sovereignty, handing over autonomy to an entity outside of you. Instead, this was always designed for you to recognize that you are a portion, an aspect, a, 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 a piece of the greater sovereign creator, source, spirit, God, and that that piece is having a human experience because that's what you chose to do. You chose to, you, there was a, a decision made and then this experience is for the greater good. That doesn't mean that you ever lost the ability to create your world. That doesn't mean you lost your sovereignty. That doesn't mean you lost your light. So when we put things outside ourselves and say, well, if it's God's will, is it your will? Because when you came here, source and you were already in concert. You already knew what the plan was. The whole purpose then of life then is to begin to discover and live out that plan in unity and in peace, nothing missing, nothing broken, and in flow with that which from whence you came and not to be doing it so that you can hurt other people or whatever, right? You're living in peace, harmony, um, and uh, sovereignty along with everything else in this realm. You've been shown how to create. You've been shown how important one of the first things, right? In, in the Bible and in the Torah, God said, let there be light. And there was light. That's how important your solar plexus chakra is. Like it's got to light your path. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not to thine understanding and all the ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. Light, you have an internal compass. That's your solar plexus. So I want you to listen to solar plexus chakra healing music. I mean, it's a gr if there's if it's a sunny day, open up the windows if you can, get outside if you can, wearing yellow, eating yellow foods, all those sorts of things, right? Citrus, but most of all, take your power back. You're, you're an I am for a reason. Don't hand it over. Recall it back and reintegrate it back into your being, okay? All right, now, never forget, until next time, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. This is Dr. Lisa. Oh, don't forget to comment below. Comment. Give, leave me some comments about how you feel about this whole conversation, right? How are you feeling about being your own son? Okay? How are you feeling about turning that light on? So leave me some comments. Thanks for the like, the subscribe, or the follow, and the share. We appreciate y'all. See you soon. Bye.